third commandment. Remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. This means that we should fear and love God so that we do not despise preaching and his word, but hold it sacred and gladly hear and learn it. And the thing about the third commandment, which is clearly all about going to church, uh, is that the most religious people in the world always end up trying to treat church like penance. How many times do I have to go to church to make up for what I did? How many times do I have to go to church before I'll finally get better? before I'll finally stop hurting. What can I do so that God won't be mad at me anymore? See, church becomes sort of the way that we actually pay off the debts that we incur. But the problem with remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy is where you're looking for the holiness. See, the whole thing where you're trying to pay penance by going to church shows that the holiness ain't coming from you, sinner. Yeah. See, uh, it's sort of like trying to clean a table with a dirty rag. If holiness is supposed to come from you in your works, in your prayers, in your checking off a box that says, I was here, or in your offerings, or anything from you, you're starting with something that's already soiled by sin. Remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy means that the holiness has to come from outside of yourself. Nothing that you do, no matter how many times you say the prayer is actually going to accomplish anything. The Sabbath day is not set up so that you can do things for God. The Sabbath day is set up so that God can do things for you. For after all, on the seventh day he rested, and I don't think it was because he was tired. He only talked and played in the dirt a little bit anyway. That, that's all he did for the whole week. God, in all of his power, doesn't get tired. He doesn't need rest. We do. Uh, we need rest with God. And so he sets aside a day where we would hear his word, where we would receive his gifts, because holiness actually does look like something. Get yourself to where the holiness is because it will have a shape, it will have a sound, it might even have a smell like incense. Uh, but what makes it holy, though, in all of it? is the word. Without the word, chanting is just weird singing. Incense is just smoke. Bread and wine will stay. Bread and wine and water will never be a baptism. When you add God's word, though, holiness comes. We become saints, holy people. See, church isn't you checking off a box like you did something for God. It's him making sure that you can find the holiness when you actually need it. It's him commanding you to come and take your burdens to him that he would relieve them for you. How do you make up for what you did? God already paid that price for you on the cross. The third commandment is pointing you to where you can actually find that mercy delivered. God will make it up for you on the cross, deliver it to you under bread and wine, in word, in water, in gifts given to sinners. How do I stop hurting? Well, you get you to where healing is because God's word is potent. What can I do so that God won't be mad at me anymore? Well, his word will tell you the truth and soothe your conscience. He's not mad at you. He punished Jesus. It is finished. Here, receive forgiveness, life, and salvation. Remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. Go to where holiness is so that you would be made holy, so that you would be made a saint, a holy one. And you are. Thanks for watching us talk at you. If you want to see us talk at you some more, subscribe to see notifications when we talk at you the next time. Donate to support Higher Things at higherthings.org slash giving. Help us to help you. And if you like this video, check out our website at higherthings.org and check out more content from Higher Things. Thank you to Concordia Publishing House for sponsoring today's video short. Are you ready to better understand the Bible in 30 days? Yes, it's possible. Check out 30 Days in God's Word, A Path of Discovery, now available from Concordia Publishing House.